Welcome to the monthly tea leaf reading for May 2024. I'm Rissa. This is Tea and Smoke. So as we've come through April of 2024, things were probably a little bit turbulent. There was a lot of change and it feels like we're entering May a little bit rattled. Don't worry, May looks very different in the teacup. And I'm excited to say that this month looks like it's going to be a lot more about relationships, possibly even for those of you looking romantic relationships. Let's dive right in. Starting at the handle, it represents how you're showing up right now as yourself. The column underneath the handle in this cup is pretty open. There's a little bit of scatter, meaning you might be feeling kind of confused about what you want, what your goals are, and how to operate in the world coming through April. There are a few symbols here though. The first showing up is a two. Two is about partnerships. It can be a romantic partnership. You might also be emphasizing business partnerships or other kinds of relationships in your life, family, neighbors, community, your friends. Underneath the two is a mitten. You've been really careful about how you've been handling things in the world around you. You feel like you have to be extra gentle with everyone, maybe yourself too. And that's always a nice thing, but it's to the point where perhaps the gentle handling has been a main focus and almost exhausting you. You do this because you want to show up with great care in your life. Underneath of this is a person who is built on top of a heart. This is you showing up with great love for the people around you. Moving into the emotional side of the cup, this is going to be about the relationships, the people in your life, maybe animals, if you have some you care for. And I'm here to say, May looks really good. There are four hearts this side of the cup. I can't think of very many I've seen that have that much love in them, but May for you, I believe is going to be full of a lot of happiness and great relationships of the heart. The first thing showing up is a small pumpkin. I understand it's not harvest time, but it might be that somebody you have poured a lot of time and energy into is finally appearing in your world and the work you've put into them, into the relationship of any type with them, is finally starting to pay off. One word of warning, there's a sort of tall, creepy monster swooping into this part of your cup. My feeling about this monster, this is one of those toxic people in your world. We've all got them. It's okay. They're trying to turn your love upside down. Maybe they want the attention for themselves. Maybe they want you to focus elsewhere. Whatever the case may be, you don't have to play their game. You could choose to step away from that. And you can see here in the cup how the monster is showing up right next to this huge upside down heart. The love you want in your life is there. It's available. Don't let this one individual lock you down and keep you away from the things that make you happy. I did mention earlier, I think there are going to be some opportunities for new love. This is showing up in your cup as a heart forming next to a really large acorn. In my cups, acorns are about new opportunities, new things coming along, seeds being planted, and showing up with a heart next to it and forming, literally touching it. I think that for those of you looking for a new love situation, whether it is romantic or friendships or even a fresh set of colleagues to network with, this is the month to get started. Put yourself out there, go be seen in the world, interact with people. You're going to be attracting the right types of folks to make you happy. Above all of this is a little goat. This could be somebody you already know, perhaps a Capricorn person, if that resonates for you. And I feel like this person is showing up to be there with you. This might be a love interest, but this could also just be a strong, solid friend or family member that's going to want to spend more time with you during the month of May. About halfway back, the emotional side of the cup, it gets to be a little bit tighter and there's more of a cluster of symbols together with some blockage. So about halfway through May, expect things to feel maybe kind of busy, maybe even a little bit overwhelming. The first symbol showing up is a wrench. The wrench is reminding you that even the best relationships will take work. You will have to take time for the people and relationships you care about to keep them healthy and to keep them moving forward. Next in this kind of messy clump is a rabbit sitting next to a letter Y and lungs. With the rabbit and the lungs and the letter Y, 
I want to invite you to remember why you started relationships. Why did you involve yourself with any person in any capacity? What was the original hope and intent? The lungs might be a literal message. This could be about taking care of your lungs, making sure that you are doing everything to support your health. They can also be a little bit more esoteric. In your relationships right now, can you breathe? Are you getting enough? Are you able to fully inhale and exhale, both give and take in the relationships you are currently enjoying in your life? If not, step back and go back to that question why. Examine why, examine your intentions, and talk to the other people that are involved about their intentions and whether or not they can breathe as well. This is the first of two rabbits in this cup. So again, here we have a pair. In my cups, rabbits are usually an animal about be on the alert, be on the lookout, pay attention. This symbol is drawing your attention specifically to that why, to the ability to breathe and have space and function within your relationships. Remember Remember, this is sort of a call to action for you in your relationships. Just above all of that, there's a bit of a blockage and a person reading a book. This tells me that you have more to learn. I know you probably think, Rissa, you always tell us there's more to learn. You know, the truth is there is always more to learn about yourself, about the people in your world. I invite you to be open to the process and continue learning. This person is holding a book though. This could be something that you're going to pick up at a class, a workshop, some kind of online seminar. I invite you once again to keep an open mind. Our next grouping is a fish with a heart forming underneath. In my cups, fish represent water. This is some emotional opportunity for love coming towards you. I really am strongly feeling that for many of you watching, this month could be the time that you meet a new romantic partner if that is something you are looking for. This could also be a sort of revival of the romantic relationship you're already in. Our next grouping is pretty interesting. It is the letter C with an echo of the letter C right next to it. Overlapping that is a pepper and a person with a telescope watching. The letter C doesn't have to be literal. If it resonates for you, it could be a person, place, thing, or event that starts with the letter C. I often read the letter C as the word C, S-E-E, -E, in my cups. Because there are two parts to this letter C, I think what's going on is there might be someone who's kind of spicy in your life that has been watching you from a distance for a while. It might be that May is the time they let you know they've had their eye on. Again, could be a romantic person, could be a job opportunity, could be a really fun new friend that's going to make a great adventure companion. Or maybe it's you. Maybe you're the spicy person with the letter C in your name and uh, you've had your eye on someone else. Is it time for you to let them know that you've been thinking about them? Underneath the first C is a two, once again. This is some kind of partnership. This is some kind of relationship that will move you forward in your life. However, there is also also an hourglass touching it. I encourage you that if there's someone you want to talk to in your world, move forward. Don't waste time. Go ahead and, as they say, seize the day and let them know they've been on your mind. Also though, just saying, if you've been watching them with a telescope, you might not want to share that. That's, that's a bit strong. In the back of the emotional section, there's a large gap of space that is open except for one formation of a female form. When I see a large opening in a cup, I usually consider it space that you have made to let something new in. This space is occupied by just this one very ethereal figure. She could very well be a spirit guide, an ancestor, an angel, whatever you personally resonate with, what you've asked for is finally showing up to sort of nudge you forward. Our next grouping, moving towards the back of the emotional sector, is a beautiful swirly letter L attached to a witch that is attached to a person holding a chalice. This trio is just full of magic. And if you yourself don't feel very magical, I encourage you to consider letting go of that preconception. The letter L could be specifically person, place, thing, or event that is going to show up for you towards the end of the month. The witch and the person holding the chalice speak directly to you yourself embracing the things about you 
that are quite magical. And if there are partnerships in your life taking center stage in May, reflect for a moment on the things that make them magical too. The back column of the cup represents the future you're looking for, the things that you need to go forward. There's not a lot at the top. There is a small candle burning down. So if you are spending the month doing everything and you feel like you have burned your candle to the very bottom, I do encourage you take a little bit of time to rest. Immediately under that candle that's almost burnt down, there is a person that is trying to carry a heavy load and they've literally dropped it like it's it's fallen down. If that is you, I encourage you step back, ask for those who are in relationships in your world to give you a moment to catch your breath. The last symbols that we find in this part of the cup, the letter U and an infinity sign. As if you feel like everything going on now could just simply last forever. I hope that's true and I hope it's all good. Moving into the material side of the cup, this is going to be about the real stuff of your world. Job, school, house, car, the things affiliated and associated with your material life. The first thing we meet is a triangle and the letter C once again. Maybe there is a new opportunity that you're just not seeing and you should look a little harder because at the end of the letter C is a second small triangle. There's going to be a new opportunity coming along in your material world during May. Keep your eyes open. It's going to be a good one. The thing is, I think it might be easy to miss. There is a person literally hiding it, hiding this opportunity from you. You can see their arms are stretched out and they are sort of blocking it. Look out for those toxic people in your world that are sort of stopping you from going forward. Just past that, we meet the second rabbit. When you see the rabbit in my cups, ears up, they're on full alert. This is a warning to watch out, to pay attention. The rabbit is above a solid, solid square. This is your stability for those who are concerned about things going on in their material world, be it job, home, school. Now is the moment to take care of everything that could rock your stability. If you are worried about something at work, if you are worried about something at home, get it taken care of. The next grouping kind of is all situated together in the material side of the cup. And every single part of it is touching a large blockage. There's a lot happening here, so I'm going to break it down one piece at a time. The first two symbols that we meet attached to the large blockage are a horse, and a mushroom. Horses are about fast change. Mushrooms are also about fast change. I usually read them both as a positive sign. There might be a bit of a slowdown in the month of May when it comes to your material life, and perhaps it's in your best interest to accept it and let time slow down a little bit for you in the material sector. This might present you with more opportunities. The next symbol is an acorn. Underneath of that, there is a person sitting, waiting, looking kind of disappointed and impatient. If that's you, hang in there. Things are going to get better. Things are going to pick up again in your material life. This slowdown might be happening so that you can focus your attention in other parts of your life. Within the blockage is the number 11. It is considered a very very magical number in numerology and in angel numbers. Within a little cutout of the blockage are two people kissing. Maybe now is the moment to focus on the relationships that are about love in your life. Underneath of that is the number three. I'm not reading this three as a third party situation. I'm reading it instead as part of a complete cycle, like the cycle of birth, life, death, maiden, mother, crone. This is the kind of three I'm seeing. A love relationship is going to come and a cycle is going to feel complete. Wrapping up the back of the cup, the blockage starts to break down and there is a very large cat face. Cats are always about home to me in a teacup. This cat tells me that as you end this month, you're going to be focusing a lot more on your living situation. It could be that you're going to start planning a move or you're going to focus on making the best of what you've got in your current home. Renovations, deep clean, however that resonates for you, embrace it. The very last two symbols to show up on the side of the cup are an anchor and a boat tie, two things that don't seem to go together at all. The anchor speaks to finally finding some stability as you come to the end of May. You're definitely going to feel a lot more grounded coming out of this month than you might feel coming into it. With the bow tie, I expect you're going to feel like things are a lot more cleaned up, presentable, and ready to go forward. The symbols in the bottom of the cup speak to me about the things coming beyond May. Everything is kind of held in the bottom of the cup in a sort of semicircle, and the 
there's a smiley face, a question mark, and a horse that's standing still. A galloping horse tells me that really good things are coming at you really fast, but the horse holding still, I wonder if you can decide what you want to focus on going through May. As we reach the end of this month, you're going to have a lot of questions about what is the thing or person or cause that makes me feel happiest? What do I want to chase down? What do I want to put my heart in? As May comes to a close and we move towards June, if you're feeling this kind of confusion and you're not sure where to put your heart, simply slow down enough to reflect and usually the answer is easy because it's the thing that you can't stop thinking about. Thank you so much for joining me for the May Collective Tea Leaf Reading. If this wasn't your reading, I do offer personal readings. And remember, I will never reach out to you on any platform to offer you a reading. If you want a reading from me, you have to contact me. I'm wishing you a fantastic month of May.